Hey guys, Matthew Saunders here from Power Wash Community Group. Um, I just want to make a video here kind of highlighting uh, what I uh, have learned getting into the business and where I went wrong. Um, yeah, I started this business of mine when I was going into my junior year of high school and I was really on a huge budget. I mean like a huge budget. I didn't want to spend more than like $1,500. And I thought that you know, if spending about $1,500, the money's gonna be good. I'm gonna be making good. I'm gonna be making good money regardless. Um, so I, I didn't really need the nicest equipment. Yeah, I thought four gallons a minute, at four thousand psi would be great. And don't get me wrong, it's a great starting point. Um, but uh, it's hard for a lot of us to express that once you upgrade, you don't realize really what you're missing until you upgrade, and then you kind of kick yourself and realize, oh, well, I should have gotten that. Um, I'm not saying you guys need to buy a, a big trailer here. This is my first season using it. Um, it cost me right around six thousand dollars for everything. Um, yeah, that's everything that you see in this video was right around six grand, and I made that back in about a week. So, um, basically, my two cents is the better your equipment, the more reputable you're gonna look. Um, the number of jobs I've gotten simply because I have a nice trailer, and people are wow that I have a nice trailer and a, a nice truck here. Uh, is really it, it's a large number and then the people you, know, you show up with something nice and they're going to trust you um, and so you they know that you're going to do a good job you know that you've invested it and that can go two ways they, it, just because you buy nice equipment doesn't make you a professional that you're going to do everything right um, but being on these forums asking the right questions is really going to educate you more so that when you go to do that first job and when you go to have that first job you're going to know what kind of issues you might have um, and where you might go wrong. So with that said, I'd like to kind of get into what equipment I have and why I think it's better than the where I started. Uh, basically, I started with a four gallon a minute, 4,000 PSI with an 18 inch surface cleaner, uh, the hammerhead surface cleaner, um, and it was a direct drive machine. I hauled it in and out of that truck bed every single time I had a job. I hooked right up to the homeowner's water supply um, I slowly upgraded a little bit without getting huge details. Um, basically, the hammerhead surface cleaner, it wasn't cleaning deep enough. I was having to walk too slow. Um, it was basically, you know, I was having to do a crazy slow pace. And then it wasn't cleaning deep enough. And then I was either etching driveways and this, that, all of the things that could have gone wrong. And I was wondering, why is this happening to me when everybody else is using it? Um, and basically, what I came to the conclusion of is first off an 18 inch surface cleaner for a four gallon a minute machine that's not right it's four inches per gallon a minute so here's a 16 inch surface cleaner that I ended up buying last season and it fixed a lot of my issues I was able to move a little bit faster um, and basically it was cleaning deeper and it was doing everything uh, a lot better it was more durable the swivels a hell of a lot nicer um, I got it going straight up to my trigger gun um, so that's kind of where um, those issues, I, I fought them for a long time. Um, and then basically this season is where I invested the bigger money into it because the time and headache was not worth the few grand that I saved. Because I got into it for about two grand. That was you know when I started what I spent. And this was about six grand. The four grand is a lot of money, but it's kind of... The four grand, you'll make that back. If you're going to be doing pressure washing with the trailer, even if you work a few hours a night, you're gonna be making a few hundred dollars. If two hours a night, just say you do two hours a night, you should be making around $300. Um, after all, cost considered, maybe call 250 profit, worst case scenario. That's an extreme, but say you're doing some something wrong or your, your bleach is really expensive or something like that. Um, you know, four days is a grand. So one week, in a month, you could pay off that, you know, first month of the season, you could pay off the investment in the trailer. Then you're going to start getting more leads. Then you're going to be doing more work. And then you're going to realize, hey, I want to start doing this more. So that's going to grow to three hours a night or the weekends. You know, that I, I can speak to that. I was not doing it full time. I was doing it on the weekends every other weekend when I wasn't doing athletics and I wasn't doing... Uh, schoolwork and the evenings I had practice I couldn't work weeknights um, some I could but I had to balance it and I still was able to justify the investment on this so um, but yeah so then when I got into this you know I, I realized going looking back on it now I can't express how 
nice it is to have something like this. And again, I, I can tell you when I upgrade this, or if I upgrade to an eight gallon a minute machine um, or more to a bigger hot water rig, I'm gonna wonder how I ever use this. But at this moment, I'm happy. I can work really efficiently and it, it get, makes me really good money. Um, but basically, the, the few things that I would highlight that I think are kind of essential if you're gonna be getting it, and again, you can put this all in your truck bed. Um, you can put it in a van. You don't have to have a trailer. Um, whatever's best for you. First and foremost, five and a half gallon minute machine, 2,500 PSI. Your PSI aren't what, that's not what cleans. Um, your chemical does the work for you, and the machine and the surface cleaner cleans right. You can change your tips to get the pressure that you need. Um, if you have more PSI, all you're going to be doing is changing the tips to lower the PSI so in your surface cleaner. So I've got this. Um, it's right around like two grand. I think it might have been 2300 with the electric start, which I can't express how amazing that is to have. Um, and then I end up doing a little bit of um, wire, uh, plumbing here to get to my tank, and then the bypass goes in so this doesn't burn itself up as quick. Um, filters and things like that, but that's if you have a trailer. If you're going to use this, at least have a buffer tank. You'd need like a 50 gallon buffer tank. Just get one of those you know, for free. Um, a buffer tank, so basically when you're not on the trigger gun, and I'll explain this later, when you're not on the trigger gun, um, that's going to fill back up so that when this is drawing five and a half gallons a minute, and say that's not being supplied five and a half gallons a minute per while you're using it, um, this still gets its needed five and a half gallons a minute because if you're using a garden hose and this is only filling up at like four and a half um, You're hurting the machine and you're not getting the most efficient cleaning power out of it um, But yeah, so let's go down the line. Um, I've got my whip line here with a quick connect um, I only have that so that I can swap it out if anything goes wrong um, Comes down to my downstream injector and bypass bypass kit Downstream injector, I only use it for house washing. It basically just draws a lower ratio of bleach. Um, don't know what ratio, I just know it allows me to run it through here, shoot it through my J-Rod tip, my soft washing, you know, get to the third floor easily, and I can soak it down. I mainly use the X-Jet now because I've gotten really efficient with it, and I think it's personally faster. That's for another debate. People think differently. Um, it, whatever you are comfortable with. Uh, this is a bypass. Basically, turn it this way and it sends it through and then you start drawing your chemical then you go here and it sends water through that way you don't have to turn the machine off and take this out um, it also doesn't allow it to restrict water flow because you're going from 3 8 down to like you know a lot smaller um, back to 3 8 you're going to restrict some of your water flow so this allows it to go around at your full 3 8 inch hose right there um, comes to a hose reel, $220 for some hose reels, whatever size. Get like 18 inch um, hose reels, that'll be good. It'll hold a few hundred foot of 3 eighths and that's 150 foot of hose right there. Um, you rarely should need more than that. Um, but yeah, you come here, you've got hose. Hose is pretty self-explanatory. Um, then you have a, um, you'll have your, um, adapter here, I'm blanking the quick coupler, um, and so you use this, um, basically I can shut it off and pop that off of anything I'm using and switch, swap between whatever I want to use, surface cleaner, wand, um, whatever it is. Um, hose is self-explanatory, um, 16 inch surface cleaner, if you're getting a five and a half, get the 19 inch Whisper Wash Classic. I just already had this and it wasn't really worth spending $700, the only thing is that I said I got the bypass going just right so that I'm able to move quickly with this. I could probably move a little bit faster than someone with the 19 inch, but the 19 inch they're going to be cleaning wider. It's probably a minuscule difference. Um, I at this point don't really want to justify $700 on a new surface cleaner when this one is just as good. Um, but however, if you're getting into it, spend the extra and get the 19 inch. Get the right one the first time. Again, I only did that because I already had it and I will upgrade soon. Um, go ahead and get yourself a 48 inch lance. Um, I've got it right here. Um, it basically saves a little bit of headache. Um, get yourself like three trigger guns um, and your J-Rod tip. This is just a set for high pressure rinse low, high or soap from you know up to 15 foot. 
Um, rinse high, but I rarely use that. I usually just rinse with my J the Assassin nozzle here. And then use your Assassin and that'll be good for rinsing, soaking, whatever you're doing with it. Again, I use the X-Jet most of the time. Um, come through here, sodium hypochlorite, you can Google that. Just find a supplier, ask someone else what it is. It's, it's bleach. Um, buy it in bulk, you'll go through it quick. Um, I spend like $2 a gallon, some guys spend less, some guys spend more. Um, surfactant and five gallon buckets. Snotmanade from Russ Johnson, it's really soapy. Fresh wash is nowhere near as soapy, but it also is easier to rinse off of siding, pick your poison. Um, my gasoline, no I don't run the machine with it sitting there, I just travel with it sitting there. I do have this ladder, but I don't take it with me ever aside from this last job I did because I had to get a little bit closer to the roof. Um, but I strictly, I advertise not ever getting on roof or on ladders um, to clean vinyl, but this was an exception for the last job that I did. Um, so you guys might think it's kind of jerry-rigged the way I racked it on there, but oh well. Um, but yeah, basically that's pretty much everything. You might want to get yourself some, some boots. Um, here's that downstream injector. I've got it going all the way over here so that... I just fill up, set it there, um, and then dropping this down in, and you're you're pretty much fine. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. Um, aside from that, when you order, um, you're gonna want to get a bunch of things like O-rings, um, degreasers. Ask if you get if you can get some samples to do some test spots for some chemicals. Um, you know, we've got clearly clean extreme for a pinch, um, a gutter cleaner. Um, I've got totally awesome over there. Um, which is literally totally awesome. Um, and you got my spare parts in here. Um, always just order a bunch of Quick Connects 3.8s, the 1 4s. Have an extra bi or, um, swivel, um, some extra parts, um, things to cinch it down. Um, I got some earplugs and my portioners, but I never use those. Um, and then just get yourself a bunch of o-rings because you're gonna go through those um, So whenever you order stuff just get you know, don't get just enough to get everything going spend Spend like 50 or 60 bucks buying spare parts um, get an extra trigger gun or two um, I always keep two trigger guns ready to go in here um, in case I need them um, I've got a crap ton of tips um, just extras um, different sizes and anything in between and, and tools. I've, I use a respirator. The I always use this. I don't want to breathe bleach in. I'm young and I don't want to breathe that in. Um, I've got a little toolbox for my tools. And I know it's cute. but um, And then I just drop that down on. And um, Yeah, that's pretty much everything. And again, you don't have to get into this for a crazy amount. I and mean, you don't even have to have hose reels. Um, those are, you know, I would guess I could say they are luxuries. Um, but in reality, as long as you get a five and a half gallon a minute machine, belt driven, $2,300 worst case with the electric start. Um, you can probably get it for like 2,000 ship from Power Wash or Russ Johnson. I personally order um, from Russ just because he's a, he's a great guy. He will basically, for example, when, I, um, when my swivel broke on here, it just started spraying. You guys probably find that on the page. Um, started spraying. He said, hey, that shouldn't be doing that. That's a few months old. Sent me a brand new one, and it's a super swivel, a lot nicer than that one. Um, no questions asked. Had it to me in like two days. Um, order an extra with 40 foot of hose, um, or give or take, you know, 45, I think. 50 is the max, but you know, go a little bit less just so it's, you know it's drawing. Yeah, I can't ex express enough. Spend 140, get an extra. It will help a lot for those tight situations that you just don't have enough time to soak down whatever surface you're soaking down three, four times. Um, but yeah, so you get that machine, $2,300. Get this, the Whisper Wash Clashes, classic. That's 700, so you're at three grand. Odds and ends, let's just say hose and everything, odds and ends, let's just say $800. You're at $3,800 for everything. Um, and you can get the hose reels at that point. You get a trailer wherever you are. I spent like, I think $1,600 on the single axle really nice single axle um you could probably get cheaper if you're out west or up north it depends i really don't the, don't know what the market is um, but if you have questions on anything else just let me know um, i will shortly go into what a buffer tank is and um what some of you guys might be running into and i decided that i was running into on my four gallon a minute um so basically this say you're connected directly to this 
Um, when it when you stop using the trigger, the water just sits here. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, so yes, residential does supply five and a half gallons a minute to your machine. So in a perfect world, you will not have any issues running a five and a half on residential. But your well water or they don't have great water supply or anything like that, that's when the machine becomes starved. And if you're only, say you're only getting four and a half to that, that's only giving four and a half to your surface cleaner, then your surface cleaner no longer cleans deep enough. And then you start running the issues and you're saying, why am I striping? Why is this, why do I have to move so slow? This, you know, all these list of complaints. Um, get a buffer tank. If you have enough room for a 75 gallon tote, get that. If you don't think that they look pretty, spend the $500 on one of the horizontal leg tanks. But that thing was like, I got that for free, but you can get it for 75 bucks or Craigslist, 40 bucks. I've seen them even on there. Um, yeah, just rinse it out make sure there's nothing in there. Make sure you get a filter. Filters are really important. Um, but basically what happens is say when you're filling, you've got my water supply connected to, to the tank here and it's five and a half gallons a minute machine or five and a half gallons a minute from the homeowner's house. Um, say they turn the washer on or they turn the shower on or they turn the sink on that immediately takes some water supply from you and you are now only being supplied at say five gallons a minute or four and a half gallons a minute. Well, if you're connected directly to your machine, even if you have a four gallon a minute machine and something happens and say they're running two showers and garden, you know, they're running all sorts of things, you could go below your four gallon a minute, which is hard, but it could happen. Um, that's where the buffer tank comes in handy. Basically, when you let off the trigger, you're no longer using the water, as I said earlier, but it, it goes nowhere on the machine if it's connected directly. Connected to a buffer tank, it's gonna start filling the tank up so the tank will continue to fill up at whatever rate it's filling up. But you've got what we call, you have a buffer, a you know cushion. So say you're drawing five and a half gallons a minute machine from here, from your machine. It's being pulled out of here, no problems. Everything's good, keep everything big. That's what I do. Um, and then say you're drawing five and a half, but it's only supplied at four gallons a minute. That's not an issue because you've got extra water in here. And what's gonna happen is when you're not using the trigger gun, say you set the hose down or you set the surface cleaner down for a minute, that'll fill up five and a half gallons and then that gives you five minutes of runtime that, you know, extra runtime where the machine, or it could only be supplied at four gallons a minute. Or, you know, you can do the math as to what will and will not work. I'm just trying to simplify it for you guys. Uh, but basically, You've just got extra, and usually every time at the jobs that I've been at, this fills up faster than I'm using it. So when I start rinsing, when I'm rinsing the driveway and post-treating it with my bleach, um, that's when I get into the case where um, I go turn off the garden hose and I just let that start draining. And then when it gets a little bit low, I'll have something to start with when um, you will know, have water ready to go, don't have to do anything. So say I come up to a job that I know is gonna be like 30 minutes, just a single story, home for house wash. Um, say I am close to filled here and I can just go ahead and start and I probably won't have to hook up. I can run, if this is full, I can run for 40 minutes at five and a half gallons a minute. Um, and that's if I'm using five and a half gallons a minute, Theo, you know, if I'm trigger, trigger pulled the entire time. So yeah, but basically, um, you know, that's my two cents. Um, you make a lot of money in this business and you're going to be getting a lot of jobs and you'll quickly realize that the amount of money you're going to make and if you're doing a good job, the number of jobs that you'll get can will very quickly justify a bigger investment. So say you spend, you know, two grand on the cheaper stuff, then you got two grand on cheaper stuff that, yeah, you can use as a backup down the road. That's, that's great to have as a backup and anything ever goes wrong. I don't currently have a backup. Um, but say I do, um, then, um, you yeah, know, that's nice, but then you're two grand out and then you got to buy all this again. And then your more initial investment the next time you're going to end up buying this. If you get in the business, you're going to end up buying this and I'm going to end up buying something nicer. Um, you know, the more you spend, the faster you can move and the more money you can make. Um, and that's kind of the, what you're worth. So that's my two cents on everything, and um, I hope I explained everything. Um, 
if you guys have any questions, post on the page. But I hope this really clears up anything that you guys might be curious about and hope this becomes a good educational video that people that are curious about getting into the business can come to and have a lot of their questions answered because again when i first heard the term downstream injection i didn't know what that was i didn't know that it means it's going to suck chemical from a bucket at a certain ratio that whatever your injector is set to, well, whatever it's set to it'll suck it through your line and then you can spray it for vinyl siding or what nextjet does is allows you to suck at a um, much much higher ratio up to even to a one-to-one -one ratio that will melt the uh, vi or the algae off the vinyl but again it's what you're comfortable with so yeah that's basically my my spiel and if you guys have any questions let me know thanks bye